everybody, welcome back. Um, today we're going to uh, put in the last part of the brake system, which is uh, connecting the calipers to uh, the hard lines. Um, so what we've done is we've got our parts in, uh, some stainless steel fittings that convert the uh, 3 16 brake lines to uh, AN or dash uh, 3 AN fittings. So um, here they are, and as you can see, they have the dash three on one side, and then the uh, inverted flare here uh, for the three sixteenths hard lines. Um, it also comes with the tabs that we need to weld to the frame. We'll just tack those in, and then clips to mount them. So let's get started, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, get these all mounted up. And then uh, once we get these done, we'll be ready to bleed the brake system and get it operational. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, we just tacked in these. Um, we did three of them. The reason we didn't do four is because in the rear we have a junction. So we're using that junction to uh, get the uh, hard line back over to the other wheel. Um, so I've done this setup before. I did it on my 69 Mustang and it worked great. Uh, didn't have any problems. Thing stopped on a dime. So, um, so next uh, we're going to hook it all up and then I'll show you the finished product. So there we go. We're all done. Got those fittings in. We've got our uh, master cylinder and proportioning valve all hooked up. I don't know if you can see this, but on the other side we have our... Uh, brake switch. It's a pressure switch. Um, so everything's all hooked up. Next thing we need to do is bleed the brake system. We also finished up the clutch uh, master as well and hooked it to the um, slave cylinder which is down here. And we had to do a little mating with some TIG welding. Uh, I pressure tested it and everything and it looks good so uh, hopefully that will work well we'll find out the first time we push the clutch and if it explodes or not but you know this is what you face when you're building things from scratch so so now what we're going to do is we're going to load the brake pads into our uh, calipers um, the first thing we got to do is we're going to you can see I have the Rotor held in right now with some lug nuts, but they actually have some uh, hardware that I can put into the uh, rotor to keep it on. Um, so we're going to do that first. So we've gone ahead and put our hardware on uh, to locate the uh, rotor. I've gone ahead and taken the caliper off, and we're going to put our brake pads in. So you can see. They uh, have these little clips in here that you clip them into. And then we've got these pins in the back that go through that are held on by the little clips right here. And those are the pins. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Put the caliper back on. And there you go. Easy as pie. So uh, brake pads are all installed. Uh, rotors installed. Um, so now we can go on to... Uh, bleeding the brake system uh, and getting it all working. So um, next time we'll probably do another update um, because uh, we're planning on firing this thing uh, in a couple of days. So hopefully cross your fingers, uh, we'll actually have the engine running and we'll be able to uh, go for our first uh, very short uh, shakedown drive. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching.